Welcome to Logic First. In this video, let's learn about assignment operator and type conversion in C language. What is an operator? With the help of operators, we can perform some operation on either constants or variables. These are the different types of operators in C language. In this video, we will be learning about the assignment operator. In the later video, we can learn other operators. As we all know, equal to is the assignment operator. On the left hand side of the operator, we should provide some variable, for example, value equal to on the right hand side, you can give either a constant like 25 or 100 or 500, whatever. Or you can also give another variable that you have declared. Or you can also give any valid mathematical expression by using variables and constants. For example, you can give number into number plus 100, the whole into 3 whatever you want. If you take this case, whatever value is on the right hand side of the assignment operator will be assigned to value. Say for instance, in the memory, the variable contains the value of 3 already. Then during the execution of this statement, the value in the memory will be changed from 3 to 25. Whatever value is present in the variable num will be assigned to value. Here number contains 10. So after this statement, here also the value will be changed to 10. Now when this statement is executed, first the expression on the right hand side will be evaluated by substituting the values for the variables and then the final value will be stored in this variable. So here the value of num in the memory is currently 10. So this expression becomes 10 into 10 plus 100 the whole into 3. So when you evaluate this, this is 100 plus 100 which is 200, 200 into 3 is 600. So 600 will be assigned to value in the memory. So just remember whatever is present on the right hand side will be assigned to the variable in the left. Now it will be quite clear to you why we always have a variable on the left hand side, right? Because it is meaningless to have anything else on the left hand side. So in general you can say that the syntax is something like variable equal to some expression. The expression could be as simple as a constant or it could be any valid mathematical expression. You can also give something like num equal to value equal to 10. Assigning 10 to both the variables. This is allowed. You can give any number of variables here like x equal to y equal to z equal to 0. This is also allowed. This is called as compound assignment assigning values to more than one variable. Say for example, the value of A in the memory is 6. Now you want to add 2 to the value of A in the memory. And finally store 8 here. So how can you do it? You just have to add 2 to A and assign it to A itself. The value of A in the memory is currently 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. Now 8 will be stored in A itself. So the 6 here will be replaced by 8. Similarly, you can also do something like x into 10 and store it in x itself. r divided by 10 and storing it in r itself. All of these are allowed. Here, instead of giving a equal to a plus 2, you can simply give a plus equals 2. This actually means that a equal to a plus 2. It is like saying whatever the value of a in the memory, just add 2 to it. Similarly here x equal to x star 10 can be written as x star equal to 10. Similarly r equal to r by 10 can be written as r by equal to 10. Since this minimizes the original expression, this type of assignment is called as shorthand assignment operator. So the syntax for this shorthand assignment can be written as if you have something like variable equal to variable some kind of operator and some expression this can be written as or replaced with variable instead of mentioning the variable again the operator comes here equal to expression so this is the syntax for shorthand assignment note that this kind of shorthand assignment can be done only for binary operators here binary doesn't mean the binary number system but just it means two for all the operator that involves two operands. See here the addition requires two operands. Multiplication requires two operands. 
and then division as well as of course we have subtraction and also modulo. For all these five operators, whenever you have something like this to be performed on the same variable, you can use shorthand assignments like this. Here this can be written as b minus equal to 10. Similarly, this can be written as p mod equals 2. Next, let's see about type conversion. When we say type conversion, we mean about the type conversion of variables here. When two variable types get mixed up, type conversion occurs. Say we have an integer called i and another variable of type short int, let's call it si. Now when you try to assign si to i, after of course initializing the variables with some values, what happens? si is a short int data type which can only hold two bytes of information. Whereas i on the left hand side is a bigger data type that can hold 4 bytes of information. So when you assign something like this, whatever value is on si can be stored in i without any loss of data. That is no problem because this is smaller and this is bigger. But instead if you try to do something like si equal to i what happens? This on the right hand side is a bigger data type whereas the one on the left is smaller data type. When this kind of assignment happens, what the compiler does is it just takes these lower order bytes. Here we only want two bytes so it takes only the lower order two bytes and assign it here. The higher order bits are just ignored. Because of that what happens obviously data loss occurs. Sometimes you might only have the information here. If the integer already contains a smaller value, then only these lower order bytes will hold the actual value and these all will be zeros. In that case, the data loss will not happen. But if it contains a bigger number, greater than 2 bytes, then obviously things will be messed up. So whenever you are mixing types like this, you have to make sure that the variable on the left hand side the variable on the left hand side should be big enough or bigger than the variable on the right hand side only then it works properly this will not work you can still do this it's nothing wrong but obviously you will not get desired results so here even though you give assignments of different types the compiler takes care of assigning the values properly so that's why we call it as a type conversion or specifically it is called as the implicit type conversion because the compiler itself handles all these for us. We also have explicit type conversions wherein we have to specifically mention how to convert the types. So just remember if the data type on the left is big enough there is no loss of data. But if the data type on the left is smaller than the data type on the right then you will have data loss. Even signs could be lost because sign will always be represented in the higher order bit or the most significant bit. So it will definitely be lost. Let's just see this in action. See here inside the main I have just declared a short integer and assigned a value of 5 and integer i and assigned the value of 65,000 to it. Now let's just um, assign i equal to si. i is the bigger data type. It is on the left hand side so we should be safe here. Let's print the value of i and check. The value of i is percentage %d. Here outside just give i. Let's build and run. You can see that the value of i is 5. The value of si is 5 and it has been assigned to i. It's perfect right. Now let's do the opposite. Let's assign i to si. Si is smaller and we have a bigger value in i. Just change here the value of si is percentage %d and si. You are seeing the value of si as minus 536. A totally irrelevant value. See here you just have 10. Let's now see what happens. The value of si is 10. It's working fine right. So only when you have a very big value for i the problem occurs. How do you know how much si can handle? In order to know that you can do this simple thing you can include a library called hash include limits.h this library has a lot of constants it can tell us what is the maximum value the integer can handle what is the maximum value short int can handle you should include this library and you should just use some proper constants 
If you go to tutorials point, you have this table here. Just search for limits.h. See here you have s car minimum. If you just use this constant, it will tell you what is the minimum value of a signed character. What is the minimum value that it can store? It's minus 128. Now we want to know short max. What is the maximum value a short integer can handle? Let's just check it in our program. You just have to give shrt max. Just give shrt max here. The max value of si is shrt max. Let's just run it and check. See it gives the value of 32767. This is the maximum value si can handle. Similarly, if you want to know the minimum value, you can use this. For maximum value of integer, you can use this. And for minimum value, this. Just refer to this table. All these constant values are present in this limits.h header file. That is why we are including that. So now we know that the maximum value SI can handle is only 32,767. That is why when you give 10, it works fine. When you give 32,767, I'm just changing this. See, it still works fine. The value of SI is 32,767. This assignment is working. But when you make it as 768, let's see what happens. See, you are getting minus 32,768. Something got messed up. If you know the maximum value that can be stored in each of the data types, then these type conversions will become very simple for you. You can extend this concept to other data types as well. For example, if you assign short to long, this is smaller and this is bigger, so this works. Similarly, a character variable to a double variable, this will definitely work. But when you assign a double to a float, we know double is bigger than float, right? So float will not be able to handle a bigger value, so this might not work, which means you might get some undesired output. Similarly, assigned integer is definitely bigger than character. So even this will not produce correct results. Thank you for listening.